Those who hope for a swift end to Cuban communism should be careful so that they don't throw out the baby with the bathwater, literally. Cuban infant mortality is famously low, lower even than in the United States. Not quite. This is an interesting example of how naive we often are when dealing with dictatorships. They want to give the impression that they can give people something that freedom can't. And many take their word for it, including the United Nations. But for starters, infant mortality was very low before the revolution was even a glint in Fidel Castro's eye, about a third of what it was in Spain at the time. How could they continue to make it go down even further? Well, by using smoke and mirrors. It turns out that late fetal deaths are abnormally high on Cuba, about five times higher than in countries like Spain and Sweden. So the regime systematically put infant deaths in the column of late fetal deaths, a column that no one bothers to look at. Adjusted for this, infant mortality is twice as high. But of course, Cubans who say this are jailed. So how can poor dictatorships consistently present impressive health data? Not having a free press helps.